What's up guys, my name is Sebastian Stratman and I have an Infinity Q60. Uh, I see this question a lot on the forum that I'm on, so I'm just gonna make a video on it. I'm tuned through Sonic Tune, but it wouldn't make a difference on who your tuner is. This is just gonna be a video on how to get multiple gauges on your EcuTech dashboard. First thing you're gonna wanna do is put your car in accessory mode. Now, you can do this while it's started, but since I don't really need to start mine, I'm just gonna do it in accessory. All right, don't mind the music behind me, but you're just gonna wanna pull up your EcuTech app, go into my car, as I just did. It's gonna load for a second. Then you're gonna wanna go into your dashboard. This is my original dashboard, so I'm gonna make a new one. This would be how if you want it horizontal or vertical, if you wanted that. But this is pretty much how it is, base. And this is what's gonna happen when you first do it. You can move those around, you can delete them, you can edit them, um, whatever the case may be. So this is what would happen if you were to add a gauge without any settings changed. So I'm just gonna add a random gauge. Boost target multiplier is awesome. You can learn about that on a separate video. Um, but as soon as I set it, it's gonna give me an error. Too many logging parameters. So I'll show you how to defeat this so you can move on to add more gauges. First thing I would do is delete all the current gauges that you have on it right now. So all three, the vehicle speed, the RPMs, and your third gauge that you just tried to set. Hit options, see the log default parameters, turn that off. You can also change the colors. I like having a black background. Um, I'll change all my text to white as well. And there's a lot of customization that you can do with this. You can make a custom background. But after we get done with this, you can hit add, go to gauge, and just add whatever ones that your tuner suggests or that you would like. My favorite is the boost target multiplier, knows when I'm ready to hit boost. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a whole bunch here and then show you how to move them around. And uh, I don't know, some decent ones that I like to keep on just so I can see my parameters and exactly what it could be going to the red at certain times. So I'll let myself do that real quick. So at this time, I'll kind of show you some of the settings that you're able to use, like putting the title on boost multiplier, or you can just hit max boost or whatever the case you want. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and use a horizontal bar because it's a zero to 100% gauge, so you don't really need it as like what you'd see a normal oil temp gauge. So this is what that would look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the point where it looks nice and um, I guess you could say in the middle of everything. So give me a second to do that. So now that it looks nice, um, you can kind of edit it from there, choose what you want. I'll show you what mine looks like. This is what I normally run, but that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys liked it. Anyway, I had to do a voiceover with that. So hopefully it got across clearly. Short video, but informative. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll pretend you have one. Bye.